Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, often tasting rare and exotic whiskeys, and I welcome you now to my top 10 Irish whiskeys from 2022. These are all whiskeys that I tasted and done a review about them here on YouTube. So, 2022, did I review Redbreast? No, so it's not on the list. These are not the best whiskeys of um, the entire available world from Ireland, but rather those that I have actually tasted and uh, reviewed, and now this is my list. Now, this is not just my list. This is a list of me and my 150 super fans that support me financially through Patreon and through YouTube in Germany. All right, so what I did is I picked out my top 11 Irish whiskeys. I sent them, I gave them a tool that they could vote for it, and their vote and my vote averaged out, and therefore the, this is now going to be my top 10 list. So, exciting, the first time I've done this in English. I've done this for the last five years in German, um, but I haven't done this in English at all. Now I finally get to do it because all my videos I've done in English as well this year. All right, number number 10, it's a German whiskey called Teufels Whiskey, single malt, red wine, single cask, Irish whiskey. It was in cask strength, whiskey base number 193339. So Teufel is a devil, it's the devil's whiskey. Why is it called the devil? Well, there's an ice hockey team here in Germany um, that one of the, um, I, I call her Miss Irish Whiskey, Mareike Spitza. Um, she actually is one of the sponsors, and so she sponsored the team, the Devils from Bad Na Nauheim. Um, their ice hockey team are called the Devils. So, Devils Whiskey. Very, very easy. That's number 10. Number 9 a, um, is for me, for Cullen, Powers Court, Amarone Cask Finish Single Grain. Whiskey base number 190028. I personally had the chance to go to the Powers Courts Distillery this year um, in 2022. Beautiful, beautiful place. And for Cullen is the brand name of Powers Court Distillery. Uh, grain from Cooley. Well done. Number eight. The Whistler. Bowen Distillery. Sourced in this case still. It's a nine-year-old Mazala single cask finish. Now, whiskey base number 199098, and this whiskey was actually bottled for the 10th anniversary of an online shop from the Netherlands called Drang Tuzin. Now, um, there was the Mazala, and for some reason I think I like Mazala finishes, Moscatel, Bordeaux, and there was actually a five-year-old um, full maturation in the sherry butt. A Bowen Distillery, if you ever get the chance, about 45 minutes north of Dublin. Excellent distillery. They just brought out, brought out their first real own whiskey. Excited? The Whistler. So, number seven is going to be, for a German exclusive as well, Irish Whiskey Wochenende 2021 Irish Single Batch Whiskey. Whiskey base number 192099. Now, the Irish Whiskey Wochenende means Irish Whiskey Weekend. Once again, Miss Irish Whiskey, um, Mareike Spitze. For the last three years now, she has been doing an Irish Whiskey Weekend where she takes a Saturday, Sunday, and she invites um, seven different people on Saturday, six different people. These are all distillers. These are all people that have their own brands in Ireland that she helps import over to Germany. And we're doing a conference. So every hour, seven hours on Saturday, six hours on Sunday, you will have a different um, different brand. Teeling and um, uh, Powers Court and The Liberator and Short Cross and all these different places. Uh, beautiful. And then she actually does her own almost like a whiskey fair whiskey over here when we have a whiskey fair each whiskey fair tries to have their own special bottling just for the fair and uh, she does she's done that 2022 2021 and 2022 now and so very very good job Marika. love that whiskey um my fans and i are not always in agreement about the best irish whiskey why because this one really really boggled me um I, for me 
the Bushmills um, finished in Cuvée casks from the Causeway Collection 10-year-old Irish whiskey, whiskey base number 197790, was the 11th whiskey on my, on my list. And for my fans, it was number one. Um, I'm not really sure if that's just because Bushmills has a ability to have more bottles available in Germany. So the Irish whiskey Wochenende was a single cask. Um, everyone except for nine was a single cask. So there's 250 bottles. Um, I have 150 super fans, but Bushmills with the Cuvée cask, it's a good whiskey. Don't get me wrong. I just would not have it as number one. And they put it as number one. I put it at number 11. So it turns into the sixth position. And so we disagree a little bit on what the best Irish whiskey was in the year 2022. But hey, Bushmills, Cuvée, maybe you tried it. The 10-year-old Causeway Collection. I like the Causeway Collection. Thank you very much, Bushmills, for doing that. So, number five. I just love this bottle. Boom, boom, boom. Tinka Bella from the Pumaland. It's a full maturation in a white wine cask. Um, whiskey base number 205496. Now, there's a lady called Monica Puma. And she is, um, the, little fa the little fairy on this looks like Monica. It was supposed to look like Monica. And um, so this was her own bottling for the first time of Irish whiskey that I'm aware of. She's had uh, different things from Scotland and so on, but never anything from Ireland. And I just thoroughly loved that unique taste of a um, five-year-old Great Northern Distillery full maturation white wine. It was different, it was nice, it was good, it was interesting. So, and the graphic artist um, that made the label, Johanna, I know her. <laughs> and so it's just like kind of cool. All right, good. Going up to the top four now. I'm a little disappointed with the fourth position because it was my number one. My super fans put it at number 10. You do notice a little bit of a disagreement here. Um, W.D. O'Connell, 13-year-old, single cast, sherry C series, cast strength, single malt Irish whiskey. That's a mouthful. Um, whiskey base number 196657. I had bought the 13-year-old, the 19-year-old. The 13-year-old was a 0 0.5 liter ca um, a bottle. I did my video on that. I immediately contacted um, the Maraika Spitza, who is the importer for W.D. O'Connell. They were also in the Irish Whiskey Weekend um, and said, I want four new bottles. And she was like, okay, really? I said, this stuff is the best I've ever had. This stuff is so good. I could just bathe in it. And she said, it's good, Jason. I said, no, it's very, very, very good. That was my whiskey of the year um, for Irish whiskey. It's so good. And it was a single cask. There wasn't much. I think it was 200 some bottles max. And we didn't even get that many over here in Germany. Um, but that 13 year old Double D O'Connell. Oh, was that good. That was so good. All right. Where my fans and I do not disagree that much is then number three. Um, I had it in third. They had it in sixth. That is going to be the Middleton. Barry Crockett Legacy 2022. The very rare single pot still Irish whiskey. Now, if you're going to buy a very rare Middleton whiskey, do not buy the, I'm going to call it the expensive Jameson. Buy the Barry Crockett. Now, uh, why? This is whiskey base 216968, by the way. And uh, why? Because the main differentiation between single malt scotch and Irish whiskey is going to be single pot still. They can't do single pot still over in, uh, over in Ireland and call it single, malt, single anything. All right. So single pot still is typical Irish. I do know some people in America are copying them, and I'm not very happy about that, calling themselves Irish style, single pot still. But hey, I think this should be something that's protected in Ireland, but that's just me. The Barry Crockett 230, 250 euros over here, very expensive, beautiful box, a little bit too much luxury for me, but I do love that taste. All right, that's always way, way up on my list every single year. All right, what totally, totally, totally took me by surprise is second place. I was not, I was expecting in the top 10. 
I was expecting in the middle, but I did not expect it as the second best Irish whiskey that I tasted apparently here in 2022. It is Dingle Single Malt Irish Whiskey. Whiskey base number 183358, 46.3%, yum. 61% Pedro Jimenez, first fill, 39%. Um, uh, first fill bourbon cast, non-chilled filtered, natural color, a little bit of Hawaiian punch in there. It's uh, from the taste. I really, really like this. If there's one whiskey from Ireland you need to try this year that is affordable, we're talking about over here in Germany, 40 to 45 euros for a bottle. Uh, it's going to be Dingle Single Malt Irish Whiskey. Search it. Search for it. Look for it. Buy it. Try it. And thank me. I thoroughly thoroughly enjoy the dingle single malt that's the discovery of the year for me this year and i'm looking forward to a lot of things dingle are going to do in the future i also had the opportunity this year to go to dingle and visit and talk with graham cole and um, i just love what they're doing there number one dingle again this time it's the dingle px sherry single cask for germany it was distilled 2014. It was bottled 2022. Um, whiskey base 211363. It was the first single cask from Dingle outside of Ireland and for Germany. So Kirsch Import has a wonderful relationship with Dingle. They're doing good things. And um, my bet was about a, I said about a quarter of the, of the bottles will make their way back over to Ireland. I brought two from Germany back over to Ireland. Um, we'll see how many other bottles made it back there. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm, I'm number two for me, number two for my fans. We both agree it's very, 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 very good. That was the Irish whiskey highlight for Germany, at least in my opinion, uh, the Dingle PX single cask. All right, very, very nice. So now just going through the list back up in the opposite direction real quick. So number 10 um, was the Teufel's Whiskey, Devil's Whiskey, the Red Wine Single Cask. Number 9 was from Furcullen, which means Power Court, the Amarona uh, Single Grain, the only single grain on my list. Number 8 is the Whistler from Bowen, um, Sourced Whiskey, 9-year-old Mazala Single Cask Finish for for the Netherlands, for Drank Duzin. Number seven is going to be our Irish whiskey, Wochenende whiskey, 2021 for the weekend. So number six is Bushmills Cuvée Cask Causeways Collection, 10 years. Number five is Tinkabella from the Pummerland. <laughs> that full maturation, those white wine, um, great northern distilleries, wonderful, wonderful whiskey. My highlight of the year, number four, was W.D. O'Connell, 13-year-old sherry cask, um, Cast strength, single malt, wow, that was great. Number three, Middleton, Barry Crockett, Legacy 2022, single malt Irish whiskey. The only single malt on the list. Everything else is single malt or grain. Interesting. Number two, Dingle, single malt Irish whiskey. Try it if you haven't, please do. And um, the highlight of the year for us in Germany was from Dingle, the PX, single cask for Germany. Good stuff. So, the question of the year is, what was your best Irish whiskey you had in the last 12 months, 2022? Was it a standard? Was it a single cask? Was it something at, directly at distillery? Um, what was it? I love Irish whiskey. I have an Irish whiskey nude, nude podcast um, in German. I was I spent over um, a week in Ireland visiting all my casks at the different distilleries. Um, I was at Dublin Whiskey Live Dublin and did 40 some videos from all of the exhibitors I could get on camera um, during that time to share with you. Irish whiskey is a little bit of my passion and I just love what's happening in Ireland. And I hope um, that enthusiasm and growth and um, innovation continues. And I hope you get also a little bit excited about what's going on in Ireland and Irish whiskey. All the best. See you soon. Whiskey Jason here. Bye bye.